Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Mr. McCord, as the um, Chief Financial Officer, I'm sure that you're um, aware of the recent report, in including findings from the Department of Defense Inspector General, that highlighted what I would say is the broken and wasteful sole source contracting and spare parts equipment system. Uh, acquisition system. The, uh, the Pentagon and the uh, American taxpayers, I think, are really getting ripped off um, by many of these contracts. Some of those contractors have raised prices on essential items to the tune of more than 3,000%. Um, in 2021, uh, uh, officials said that the U.S. Uh, Air Force paid um, a price of $10,000 thousand um, dollars to um, re replace toilet seat covers. Now, I go way back to a time when we talked about thousand dollar toilet seats um, and uh, for, for uh, a military uh, cargo plane. Um, and I uh, ask uh, unanimous consent to uh, put into the record um, this article, the Air Force's $10,000 uh, toilet cover. Without objection. Um, and it, it seems to me that many of these uh, small but uh, vital parts and, and components are necessary, but because they can often be labeled commercial items, um, that, uh, con that uh, contractors can refuse to provide the information um, that is, and, the, and the, uh, the, the cost information and prevents us from actually getting the, the best price. So I know that the department itself at one point in 2012 said that there ought to be legislation that would uh, reform the uh, contracting process and lower the prices. So I wanted to know what you would say about these excessive prices that the contractors are charging. Uh, thank you for that question. I would say I'm not familiar with the Air Force uh, particular contract that you're citing, but I would say in general you are correct that we have a different standard for commercial items than we do for for non-commercial items, and that's a judgment that the department and the committee. Well, does that mean that we have a harder time um, doing negotiations for a lower price? Well. For a commercial item, you're, yes, you're not supposed to be spending the same amount of, of time negotiating or doing contract auditing on the back end, and that's a trade-off that everybody has to has to make a judgment on as to whether if if every commercial item went through the same scrutiny as a submarine, then you would have you know you just you'd need a lot more contract auditors, you'd have additional costs and time spent. So so that's again a trade-off that people that people we, we've collectively have made. That commercial items should live by a different standard, so that we, it, because we often hear it's too hard to do business with the department for smaller firms. Well, let me just say though that the Department of Defense apparently found that if you just use um, that, there is a way to produce the same thing by for three hundred dollars. Um, instead of ten thousand dollars, it seems it might be worth checking out whether these some of these commercial things are worth it. Agree. Well, so tell me, how, how, how are we going to do something about addressing this problem of contractors who may be gouging well, that, that, uh, taxpayers and the uh, Department of Defense? Well, in, term, in terms of entering into the contract itself, of course, that would be the responsibility of contracting officers on the acquisition side of the department. I'm, I'm not an acquisition official myself, but, but there, is, there is another line of defense, if you will, in the contracting officers themselves deciding what to purchase and, and, and how they go about entering into those contracts. But for the contract audit piece that does report to me, again, we do have a different standard for commercial items. Aside from the issue of, uh, of commercial items, the report that was made um, said that we are paying up to 3,000 times more for items from contractors. Um, as the chief financial officer, don't you think this is something that we have to really look into? I would agree that our pricing should, should be looked at. And as you know, of course, there, there have been pricing increases due to the supply chain problems of the last year or two. And I, I, I don't know the date of time period that, you, that your report is focusing on, if it's during that supply chain issue or before. But yes, I agree that contract pricing is important. 
Okay, this, is, this was done by the DOD Inspector General. So this is not my report. This is the DOD Inspector General. And uh, I, uh, I hope you'll look into it because we shouldn't be paying these exorbitant prices and I yield back. Hmm. 